So you know no, that. Mario, bad. You, you played it by skipping through the forest. <laughs> In tights. Yeah. See, we're going to be the first. I predict. Ding, 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 we're going to be the. Ding, 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 we're going to be the first show, indie show, to be recording live and have an earthquake while we're recording live. That's it's coming. Wrong. What's better wrong? Not. We better not have that. Oh well. <laughs> what? No earthquake. <laughs> We Watch. suffered through those already. You There's see more it? earthquakes coming, we know. Yes, they, and they are. are. And you know what? You don't even have to be an expert to make those kind of predictions. How about this one? An earthquake is imminent. Yes. How's that? <laughs> Eminem or imminent? Eminent is his cousin from Seattle. Got you, man. See, I'm keeping up with the show. You know, they had, you know, mom and them is just another phrase. <laughs> mom and them, Eminem, they all kind of related. <laughs> All right, now you guys, we got to do the Obama watch. Now, this first story we're going to be following up more next week because one of the controversies surrounding the president is is he black enough for you? We mm. we covered that, but uh, even Cornell West has jumped on the bandwagon, even though in a respectful way, uh, questioning whether or not the, the president has enough commitment to Black America. Well, certainly that he has a commitment to America, but whether or not he has any special commitment to Black America. So we'll talk about that next week. But he's been he quoted as really coming out and talking about this. Mm. And that was Danny hates to hear that. <laughs> yeah, no, we love Danny. She's the insider. Now here's the other thing, don't Obama. Hate. Don't hate. Don't hate on our president. Too I bad don't. he's in. He's doing what he's got to do. You don't like it? Move. <laughs> yeah, he said, I, like, I heard Get that one before. The hell out. I heard move. that one before. They always tell you to move. <laughs> People always telling you to move. Right. You don't like it. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> well, how about we don't like it? We take your ass out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, they don't expect that one. No. Get uh, the hell out. They say, well, well, I thought you were going to leave because you didn't like it. No, mm -hmm. we're going to change and get rid of your yeah, ass. you got to go. <laughs> we learned that from the Europeans. <laughs> exactly. You know what you want? You want something, you just make them your enemy, then you get the right to come in and take it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I learned. I study history. All right. <laughs> Well, Obama was, here's a Obama moment. Obama was singing Lift Every Voice with Smokey Robinson, and there's Morgan Freeman in the background. You guys, did you hear about that one? Nah, man. They had a White House civil rights concert. You know, they got to keep those things in the down low. Don't want to look too black. <laughs> so they had a civil rights concert, you know, and the president was joined by Smokey Robinson in singing the Negro National Anthem. Danny, there you go. It is a definitely called a Negro National anthem. Did you hear that? <laughs> Negro! Negro! <laughs> okay. That's pain and suffering. That's nothing but pain and suffering in that, that, that voice right there. Negro. Right? Mm. Negro, 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 Negro. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Negro. That's right. And it was this song was written by James Weldon Johnson. Mm. And there's a clip where they are singing it, but it's from the AP, and so, you know, we won't bother. Duh. What's the AP? Associated. Um, I can't go. Oh, it's the I, 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 I almost I Associated it. Press. No, I, was, I told Danny I, I, I was to stay away from using those words. <laughs> Euphemisms. I'm stopping that. <laughs> Just <laughs> say <Hello>? no. <laughs> Euphemism. You know what? We're going to be sponsoring. We're going to be sp just so you guys know. You better be sponsoring my wardrobe. That's well, what you need to oh, consider. You need oh, to stop. And, and, and an equally nothing. And an equally pleasant. <laughs> we also we also tend to sponsor lack of wardrobes. <laughs> There you we go. find so much more exciting to the folks out there. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to have a no cursing month coming up. Oh. And, I, you know, I was thinking about yeah. the no cursing month, but I, I might blow up. You know what? I might <laughs> but have I, to get that but, thing that dude wore on his head in Silence of the Lamb because, you know, you and Victor really pissed me off. So I don't know if I can, you know, I don't know. I don't well, know what, if I want to go with what, that. What's she hating for? Is they going to be they're going to be fine. Mur right? Murphy that says Murphy that's they, what you can't that you can't stop cussing for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She said P A U C K. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what the I'm sorry, I'm everybody. Murphy. I'm not doing it. Oh. Well, y'all, it's just like, you know, I tried it before. I tried to stop cursing. Norman said the same. <laughs> y'all, you got to, I think we can work on it. You got to say things like fork you. Oh, no. And dog it. Freaking. Dog it. Yeah. Well, yeah. In, in Caprica, that new television show, they say frack you. Frack so you? We can use, yeah, that's what, they don't swear like on the one. show. They, just, they use other words. Well, mm. Okay. Mm. Well, that's what we're going to, so keep that in mind because we're going to be discussing politics and you might want to cuss. <laughs> You know, just like this one about about this about you know uh, the singing at the White House. That'll make you cuss. Oh, uh oh, oh. Some of y'all, depending on your persuasion. Okay. Some of you are probably happy, and other mm -hmm. folks will go. There they go again. 
<laughs> spending our taxpayer money in one of those gatherings, singing and shit. They could be working. Uh huh. Could be working. Mm. All right. How about this one, you, Obama? Your president is looking to hire a social media manager. You know, we tried to get some of our friends to hire <laughs> social media managers. It's such a hard thing. They always try to do it themselves. Me and the wife can do it, Mario. Yeah, right. But the president <laughs> didn't make that mistake. He doesn't think he can do it. So they're hiring, they're looking, they're interviewing for a social media manager. And as you guys recently heard, they just replaced the uh, social secretary or whatever official title. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they, they replaced the sister. They said she was a little too avant-garde, a little too in the news. Because the sister was grabbing too much of the spotlight herself. And so they, they replaced her for more obscure. <laughs> you said avant-garde. Well, is that Avante? Or, um, yeah. Okay, it's, it's, kind of, it's a sister from, uh, you know, uh, from uh, no, yeah. no, Bad Rouge. Next. So, so I don't know. Bro, you guys, so remember that. that but you don't want the president to get a social media manager? Oh, they need one bad. How going to manage his Facebook? I want an urban manager. <laughs> I thought they had one already. Well, they need a, They say he's getting us. No, they had the other lady, the social manager. They got fired for letting the wrong people in. Yeah. She got fired because the security messed up. Yeah, they, 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 that, <laughs> you know, that's so stupid. Uh, hey, you know, you got somebody's head got to roll. Yeah. Head got to go, got to go. Get one, one, one thing. That's imminent, imminent pressure. That Eminem, that's uh, Eminem's cousin again. <laughs> Here we go. Right, we on this, man. All right. That's right. Meal All right. Day. So the president, this is real quick Obama watch because we can't watch so long. Uh, Obama said the stimulus bill saved us from the Great Depression. Okay. I believe that one. Uh, <laughs> it, did. <laughs> it did. It did. Okay. Well, that's the Obama watch. Mm. Obama watch. We're not watching too close this week because it's a bad week. Yes. We'll, we'll watch close next week. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay, well, man. What we got enough? You you must got some secrets going over there, man. Man, What's I can't up? see. It's the new setup. Okay, but you here, but okay. you set it up, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. I've been saving this next story because this next story is particularly disturbing. Oh, this is Mike's girl. The British say there's there's some intelligence that says that they've discovered <laughs> that people are developing a gel and to be used in implants so that they can make breasts. Implant bombs. Take a look at this picture, Vic. Mm, I'm gonna run out and just take go a look get at this, one. So, well, you know, two. I'll maybe I'll get three. Take a look at this picture you know? right here, hmm. which shows a couple of implants. You know, moderate sized implants. Mm -hmm. If you just reach out and rub your screen right now, just to sort of get a feel for those. <laughs> just lick it if you can. Just you know. <laughs> Uh, but these are just what you may have to deal with. You may have to. You'll be in line beside so behind some big titty person, and you'll be wondering, are her breasts? Potentially implant bombs. Mm. Now, I don't want to scare anybody, but I think this will give us particular license to check any female whose breast looks suspicious. When Grab you, her, throw her right. to the ground, yes. kick her legs apart, and check her breast. That's right. For implant bombs. They're going to just give a pass to the drug traffickers. They say, oh, that's just cocaine. Let it go. Let me go on. on I'm just saying, look at this picture, you guys. Larry, yeah. take a look. Yeah, this is what might be coming after you. They may have these in Cleveland. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm concerned. I might have to grab some just to make sure. Daddy, these see, don't travel. <laughs> don't travel. <laughs> they don't know. They, you never know. They might run up on you and think you're an implant well, Maybe bomber. she had floppy ones that kind of just, you know, when you lay down, they kind of just like go behind No, nah, that's you. how you know there ain't no bombs in the titties. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only be bombs in them good perky titties. <laughs> See, you're so wrong. So, no, watch out. There'll be no bombs if, you know, we got the ones where the nipples are pointing south. Oh. You won't get no bombs. Oh. No. Okay, I just want you guys to know because I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I, I can tell you all concerned, but I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am too, man. I mean, you know, hey, breasts is, you know, do it. I mean, now everybody, you know, security services are going to go up. People are going to apply for jobs now because they do pat downs and everything. You know, check, you know, breasts and everything. I'm, I'm applying for the job.